had dreams of wanting to be a marine biologist. As a child, I was completely enamored and in awe of the ocean and all that dwelled in it. And I don't know why, but maybe it's because I grew up going to Hanuma Bay as a child, or that because my mom's side of the family, um, they're from a small fishing village in Korea. So maybe it's just part of who I am, that it's in my DNA. But whatever the reason may be, I believe that we are naturally drawn and connected to nature. Whether it be the ocean, or the mountains, the trees, the desert, the flowers, the animals, etc. And the reason for this is because we as humans, or more importantly, we as God's creation, are connected to every living, breathing thing because God intended it for it to be this way. Well, in the Greek, life is not a condition or a state of being. Rather, it's a progression, a moving towards something or someone. I'm, I'm uh, leading a book club, um, and we're reading The Universal Christ by Richard Rohr. And in it, he uses the word evolution to this, this describing this moving forward, moving towards something or someone. And he says, without a universal storyline that offers grace and caring for all creation, Jesus is kept small and seemingly inept. God keeps creating things from the inside out, so they are forever yearning, developing, growing, and changing for the good. This is the fire God has cast upon the earth, the generative force implanted in all living things, which grows things both from within, because we are programmed for it, and from without, by taking in the sun, taking in food, and taking in water. There's a natural order of things in what God has created in this world. There is no hierarchy within God's creation and design. We are all collectively moving towards this thing together as one. Therefore, if everything is made in God's image, then just like the triune God, we are made to be in relationship to all things. And if we ignore this, and we have, then what happens is there's a breakdown in this relationship and our entire world is threatened. You know, as we are in the season of Easter, we are celebrating the resurrected Christ. Then we know that nothing ever really dies. There is a sense of renewal, a sense of unfolding, a sense of hope in Christ Jesus. And the Reef Stars is a beautiful example of this hope rooted in resilience and knowing that we are not alone, that we are connected to the source of all life, Christ Jesus. And with other broken corals of opportunity, grow and flourish together within our community, with each other. May we honor one another in our environment as a way to protect the integrity of all living things, a way to protect God's design and plan for God's creation. I want to leave you with uh, one more quote from Richard Rohr from our book, The Universal Christ. It says that God's care must be toward all creatures or God ends up not being very caring at all, making things like water and trees and animals and history itself accidental, trivial, or disposable. We are not disposable, neither is our planet. We are not disposable and neither is our planet. This is God's design, this is God's plan for all of creation. Let us pray.